building your first mobile app using Cordova and HTML. So mobile apps can be developed using many different languages that are most suited for the native operating system like Android and iOS. However, hybrid mobile apps are built in the HTML style and allow the app to be developed once and deployed everywhere. So there are prerequisites for us to use Codovar. So looking over here, you will need Node.js with NPM. You also need Java Software Development Kit that can be downloaded from Oracle. So once you got these two prerequisites installed, you can open a command prompt. So on the left side of the screen, you can see we have a command prompt running. And you can enter npm. So this is to ensure that we have npm installed properly into your system. And we can see the help menu show up. After reach, you enter npm install dash g Codovar. This is for us to install Codovar, which can help us compile HTML files into mobile apps for different platforms. So in this case, I've already installed Codovar on my machine, and it's going to take maybe two, three minutes for you to install Codovar. And the next step we're going to do is we're going to create our first project. Now we're going to name it My First Mobile App by using the following command. Codovar, create My First Mobile App. So once the Codover project has been created, you will enter into the My First Mobile App folder. Here, we are going to configure the mobile app, and we will add the platform Android into the mobile application. So adding the platform means that the system will compile the hybrid mobile app for Android devices. Codover platforms at Android. The platform can be Amazon Fire OS, BlackBerry 10, Browser, Firefox OS, Web OS, Windows, Windows 8, and WP8. Once you have added the platform into the mobile application project, it will compile for that particular platform. So you can enter Cordova Platforms, and this will report all the existing platforms in this mobile application. And we can see over here, we have installed Android 5.2.2. And of course, the next thing we need is the APK file for us to install onto the right side of the screen. As you can see, your virtual Android virtual machine running. So we enter code of our build. So this will help us prepare the files and compile the files. So this command will take a while for it to compile the APK file. Generally, for starter HTML setup for this APK file, it's going to be less than 2 megabyte for the APK file. So we see that the following APK has been built, and we will need to be able to install this APK into the Android virtual machine. So I'm going to go over to this particular folder. So it's on the C drive, users. So we see we have this Android debug that dot APK. So I'm going to copy this file. And I'm going to start my Apache web server. And I'm going to host this file so that the Android device is able to download this APK and install this APK. So going to, I have XAMPP running, which hosts the Apache web server. I'm going to go to HT docs and I'm going to paste the android dash debug.apk over here and we see that it's less than 2 megabyte in size so I'm going to go over to the android virtual machine and I will start a browser so I got to get the IP address of this particular machine I'm running hosting the Apache web application server 
So we see that uh, over here on the wireless LAN adapter wireless network connection, we have IPv4 address 192.168.1.3. So I enter 192.168.1.3 slash. So remember the file name over here, android-debug.apk. So we see that the download has started. So we go to the downloads app and we see that we have Android APK downloaded. And of course it's asking for me to install this particular application. So of course asking do you want to install this application, it will get access to the following. And of course I'll click install. So once the application is installed, you'll be able to open it up. So we see we have Apache Cordovar and device is ready. So if you look back over here, going back to the my first mobile app. You go to dub 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 and you go to index.html. So we can actually edit this with Notepad. And we can see the different kind of information that has already been put up onto the HTML file that we can actually use as a mobile app. So you can actually download certain mobile responsive teams. They'll be able to help you get certain information to get the mobile responsive template into your Codovar. So I'm going to demonstrate one of them. So I downloaded the MobileRis free template and I'm going to copy all of this. And I'm going to throw it over here. And it's going to ask me to replace the file in the destination. I'll say yes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to the command prompt. And I'm going to build the application again. All right, so we got a successful build. So we're going to go back to platforms. Android. Build. Outputs. APK. Android debug.abk. So this time around, we can see the file size is about 10 megabyte. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to my Apache web server, HD docs, and I'm going to paste it over here. And of course, I'll replace the file in the destination. And of course, I'm already hosting my web application server. So I'm going to go back to the Android virtual machine. I'm going to go to browser. So I'm going to enter this again. So you'll be downloading this particular file, a brand new hybrid mobile app that we have just created using a mobile responsive team. So I'm going to enter in this one. So this is an, an update to the existing application. And of course, your existing data will be lost. So we're going to install it. And once the application has been installed, we can open it up. There you go. We see we have a mobile responsive team on a mobile application.